So this is your message feed. We can set the message hello. We can set the message color down here. I can activate it using a button. So I'm going to press grab this button. It doesn't have to be a button, but it's just the example here. Uninteract. So when I press this button, there we go. Hello down there in the message feed. But I think you guys can figure that out. So to start off, you're probably wondering what's this player highlight color? Well, you can actually send the name of the player who triggers message feed. In this case, it would be whoever presses the button. And the way you do that is anywhere you want the player name to appear, you first have to type in left curly brace and then capital P player and then capital N name like that. It needs to be exactly this. Otherwise, it won't work. And obviously, you can change the color of the player name. So in my case, I will do you can do team affinity, which just means that if players on a team that isn't yours are going to be red and players on your team are going to be blue. And then team color is just going to straight up take the color of whatever team you're on. Of course, you can choose red, orange or whatever. But I like using the gold, which actually has this little sparkly effect. So you can see when I press a button, you can see my name pops up there with the hellos. Another thing you can do is set an icon. So for example, here, I'm going to pick uh, one of these icons. You can, I guess you could pick that. And then I'm going to choose left curly brace again, icon. So this is the syntax for placing an icon inside of your message. And just like the player name, it has to be exact and you can place this wherever. So you can see when I press the button, you get this uh, <laughs> oh, wood texture down there. Another cool thing you can do is actually send markup within your text, which you can use to change individual words within your message. For example, I'm actually going to change this message to so here I'm going to say I want my wood, just this wood word be, let's say, I don't know, yellow or orange. What I could do is I could before the wood or before whatever you want to turn a different color, you can type in this left arrow and then I'm going to type in orange like this. And in the end here, I'm going to sort of do the same thing, but instead I'm going to type a slash like this. So this funky looking syntax is going to make whatever is inside of these uh, braces orange or whatever goes in here. So for example, in here, we only have the wood that's inside. So only the wood is going to be orange. Now, one important thing is that for this to work, you need to change your message color to default. Otherwise, you're going to get uh, the literal arrow orange, all that stuff instead of actually coloring the wood orange. So make sure if you if you are using this markup syntax here, you have message color set to default. Your player highlight color can say the same or just change it to default or whatever, but just make sure the message color is default. So when I press this now, you can see that only my wood word is uh, orange because that's the only thing I put inside. Now, there's a bunch of other colors such as red. So, for example, if I wanted to make has collected some to be red, so all of this to be red. Again, we can first start off by in the beginning putting this red thing and in the end putting this left arrow slash and then right arrow. So anything inside of this is going to be red. And then I am going to make this logs. I can make it B, which is going to bold, bold in this text So like this. So this should be red has collect some and then an orange wood and then a boldened logs word. So if I go, so now when I press the button, you can see that that works just fine. So I've collected some wood log. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a message that is going to display different colors whenever somebody reaches a new zone. So for example, whatever player has reached chapter two or whatever. Okay, so here I've built this sort of mini obstacle course. And I have this mutator zone. So what I want is anytime somebody enters this area, the message is going to activate for reaching chapter one or maybe starting the map or something. So what I'm going to do is in my message feed device, firstly, I'm going to go down here. And instead of the button, I can pick this eyedropper thing and then select my mutator zone. And the action is going to be on player entering zone. So whenever somebody enters the zone and now I'm going to change the message to be and I want chapter one to be in green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again type in this green inside of the braces here. And then at the end, type in this left arrow slash to enclose. And then for my has reached, I'm going to make it, I don't know epic because that's a valid option so i'm gonna make it epic which i think is just purple anyway so this should type out a player name with the one icon has reached in purple chapter one whenever we enter this mutator zone and now if i go up here you can see that's now in green so my name has reached 
chapter one with the little logo now on the verse side of things unfortunately there's only one uh function besides the enable and disable which all creative devices have which is just going to trigger the message feed so it, there is no set text or get text or any of that stuff which a little unfortunate but yeah anyway that's pretty much it for the message feed device let me know what you guys are making with this and if you want to see any other device but as always i hope this was helpful and yeah